Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nady and welcome back to another episode of Shit I Forgot to Review. As you beautiful people know, this is about the products and not the people behind them. Any tiff you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Oh, my little rose gummies, how you doing today? I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having a great day so far. I myself am doing fabulous. I've been outside and the allergies are real today. <laughs> Sniffles Miggy. But nothing makes me feel better quite like playing with makeup and I happen to have shit that I forgot to review to play with. I didn't intend for this to be a series, but it seems like I forget a lot of stuff. So here it is. But I'm really stoked for one of the items. If you notice my background is green and I kind of have a theme here. Well, not really, it actually just happened. But one of our items that we're gonna be trying today is this cannabis primer. See, green, green. Oh, and it's shaped like a fat doobie. But yeah, this is from Makeup Revolution. This kind of shit has been out for ages. Was it milk? who first came out with like Kush mascara and then a whole wave of weed related shit came out, which I couldn't be happier about, but it has definitely been way freaking overdone. I think it was in Home Goods or Marshalls or something and I saw this and I was like, oh, I have to have it. Mainly because of the packaging. Wouldn't that make cool wallpaper? I'm basically a 95 year old woman. I fucking love wallpaper, especially with weed leaves on it. I will admit though, I am a former stoner, so this doesn't excite me quite as much as it used to, but still it sounds intriguing. And then we also have some Makeup Forever Concealer? What is this? HD Skin Anti-Crease Concealer. And one of my friends was kind enough to loan me a little bit in a tube. Right now, I'm fucking obsessed with the Lady Gaga one. It is just the whole tits and taint all over my face. Just beautiful. And it gives me a super light, minimal amount of coverage, which I love. And if this does the same and looks beautiful, maybe I'll add it to my collection. And one of my other shits I forgot to review, we tried the Hourglass Veil. And that is so fucking pretty. I added that to my collection. I'm just stunned with the amount of good quality shit in the makeup world lately. I've had a few bumpy rides and there was a while there where it was just like crap product after crap product. But either I'm on a good drunken order streak or people are actually coming out with better things. But I did just wash my face. I need a little bit of moisture so I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier but whatever perfecting cream or some shit. Oh yeah actually that is what it's called. Cool. Now that I'm finally at the end of the jar I know the name of it. Oh but folks it is winter time here in Florida which means it's like 78 and sunny. But it's a lot drier and my skin feels it. Living here you either have swamp ass or dry elbows. There is no in between. Shit, that just sunk right in like milk into a sponge. So let's go in with our weed primer. It's gonna get me high. Can I drink it? First of all, what the fuck is this supposed to do? Most importantly, this cost me $4.99. I don't know how much it is originally. And it doesn't say anything on it other than the ingredients. Well, I guess how complicated can a face primer be? Let's give it a good shake. And I love the packaging. It's very cute. And this is Makeup Revolution, which is pretty affordable makeup, but it feels nice and luxurious like it's a glass component. Yeah, all right, so here we go. Ooh, it's actually green. I thought it was the glass that was green. It's like one of the ghosts from Ghostbusters sneezed in my hand. Ooh, it is very slimy. Oh, it kind of has like a menthol -y smell to it. Kind of medicinal. Actually, it smells just like toothpaste. That is not at all what I was expecting. Ooh, wait, but should I only try this on half of my face? I think I should. Let me smear it off of this half. I can try my normal primer over there. Let's put this over here. Ooh, that actually has a really nice texture to it. It's kind of like a thick serum. Oh, that's lovely. I can't tell if it's cooling. I wouldn't be surprised. It did smell an awful lot like Ben Gay. Been there. All right, so clearly this side is sticky and shiny. So for the other half, I'm gonna take my normal Elf Poreless Pussy Putty Primer. God, I love this stuff. It is so damn affordable. It lasts you ages. I can't say that I vouch for many Elf products, but this is definitely probably my favorite primer ever. Unless the sweet shit is good, then maybe I'll switch to that. This how I ain't loyal to anything. And we've let this sink in for about 60 seconds. We're still tacky on both sides, but definitely more so the sativa. If my jokes were a primer, it would be this. The e.l.f. primer just kind of feels like my skin, but a little bit moist. Let's go in with some foundation for that. I'm gonna use the House Labs in the shade. I, I don't know. Does it really matter? It's this. And first we can start on the side with the sativa. Are we ready? Here we go. Lately, I have been obsessed with putting my makeup on with just like a fluffy brush and buffing it in a little bit by little bit. And so we are gonna do that today. Ooh, okay, that looks pretty, very nice. Although this foundation does always look pretty, but we'll see kind of how it wears throughout the day if it's any different. Fuck, there's a big fleck of glitter right on my nostril. It's okay, we're just a little bit extra gay today. Well, that does look absolutely beautiful, although I think a little bit shinier than normal, which might just be that primer shining through. But the foundation applied to my skin really well. I don't know that it's as pretty as the e.l.f. side usually is though, so let's go into that and see. All right, here we go. Ooh, you know what? Almost immediately the e.l.f 
Elf side actually does look better. Well, well, we'll give it a minute. And quite often on this channel, I have a line down the center of my face between the two products and I can actually see that. It's almost like the Makeup Revolution primer is just like sitting on top of my skin, whereas the Elf one kind of sank into my skin. And you might not be able to see it, but it's like there's a fucking layer of plastic over my face. And also on the Makeup Revolution side, the product is kind of slipping and sliding around, whereas this side, it's like ripped the fuck into place. Maybe that's why this was at Marshall's. It's not like either side necessarily looks bad. This side, because it's so shiny, my pores just look fucking huge, but I have a nice glow. Whereas on this side, I still have a nice glow, but my pores don't look that big. We'll see how she lasts throughout the day, and in the meantime, I'm gonna let her dry down. Come on, baby, you can do it. It's just like I smeared Vaseline all over my face. Ooh, or a stick of butter like Paula Deen. And while these ladies are kind of doing their things, let's go ahead and apply some Consquealer. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Smooth and Blur Undetectable Under Eye Concealer. Fuck. That is a long name, and longer is not always better, just most of the time. But this has almost five out of five stars, not too shabby. It has a natural finish, it has hyaluronic acid, it's hydrating, it's plumping. Why the fuck would it be plumping? Gonna rub this on my ass later like bum bum cream. Ooh, and it has jojoba oil. You know me, put the hoe in jojoba. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy ass brush and dip a little bit into there. And hopefully this isn't too much. I did pick up an absolutely minuscule amount. We can build it up from there. Oh my gosh, this color might be perfect. A tiny bit light, but not bad. Okay, so that's one little teeny tiny layer. I definitely would like a little bit more, but I can see a little bit of brightening happening. It's also very matte seeming. Like compared to the glowiness that my face has, I dare say greasiness, you can just tell exactly where this is placed. I'm gonna try just a smidge more right down here. Ooh, there we go. They did also say you could tap this with your finger, so maybe let's try that. Ooh, that's really pretty too. It looks almost the exact same though. I think my finger is picking up like half the product. Yeah, I'm going back to a brush. Yes, that is very pretty. However, I don't know that I love it either with this foundation or with the primer. I'm not sure which. Only because it looks like there's something there. Like from here, it's okay, but the closer you get to it, you can tell that you're wearing a concealer. And I have concealers that don't do that. But let me try this on the other side because it might look like it's sitting on the skin because the foundation kind of looks like it's sitting on my skin. Like, I don't know if I love this primer, but at least I know I fucking love the e.l.f. primer. So if it looks like shit over here, then it's probably not the primer. Well, my little frosted flakes, I think it's the primer. Because on this side, it looks beautiful. It looks natural. It's not like it looks bad over here. It just isn't as good as it could be. On the side with the e.l.f., it just looks like my skin. Ooh, but it does kind of want to crease the fuck up, though. Okay, so before I show any expression, let's powder this. But before I do that, let's take a look at it. What do you think? Yes, pretty? No, maybe? I think it's pretty. And it could be that I brought the foundation up a little bit too high and these aren't fucking with each other well. Or it could be the primers. Or it could just be that this product wants to crease, but it is is creasing up on me. Let me take a little bit of whatever's left on the brush and apply it as a highlight right to my forehead here. And then I'm gonna take just a teeny tiny bit of my Florisys pressed powder and press it right underneath the eyes. God, that just like sucked the powder up. So here's how we're doing. We have a beautiful glow. Under the eyes, it is a bit matte because of that powder. I do still like the elf side a little bit more. This is just still really, really fucking greasy and shiny looking. But maybe it'll wear better than the elf. I don't know. Let's Let's go in and add a little bit of contour before we finish this look up. I do have a few meetings today, so I'm gonna keep it nice and natural, like a bush from the 70s. And then we can take a little bit of bronze hair on the cheeks. I have not added bronzer in so long. And a little bit of setting spray. Mm, that tastes like coconut. Oh, blow me daddy. All right, I am way too shiny, like unnaturally glowy. So I'm gonna dip into this loose florist's powder and I'm gonna dip a Lunar Boutete powder brush into it. And I'm gonna dust that all over my face because it is just fun and excessive. And hopefully this will help a little bit because my under eyes are just way too matte and you can see exactly where I put the concealer and press the powder in. Oh fuck, that definitely helped. I am still glowy, but the glow is even now. So here we go. Is my neck a different color than my face? Yes, it is. My neck, my back, my kitty and my crack. But that's all right. Nobody's judging except me. But now that everything is set into place, oh, I gotta say, I still like the elf side more. My pores just look so big over here. I think on camera, it's probably the same, and I think I'm the only one who can actually notice. Like, if I went out in public, nobody would be able to tell that I have different sides of anything on. But what do you think? Can you tell the difference between the two sides? We have the Makeup Revolution side. We have the Elf Poreless Putty Putty Putty. What? I do think both look nice, but this side just has too much fucking glow for me. And I really don't think the product is sitting quite as nicely on my face. But overall, they're kind of similar-ish. So the proof 
will be in the putting of the wear time test. Here we have both sides. I will see you in just a second at the end of my day. And we are back. We are approaching the end of my day and let's take a peek at how we're doing. Well, okay, so we're gonna have to get really, really close for this. I don't really even know how much you'll be able to see, but on this half of my face, the makeup is actually breaking down a little bit. Granted, I've not really gone out in the sun or in the heat. I've not sweat. This is kind of just from sitting down and doing everyday housework. And on this half of my face, at least on my forehead, I can tell that the foundation is kind of pulling apart a little bit, but it's really not awful. Like both sides don't look terrible, but if I had to pick a side, I would definitely pick this side with the e.l.f. primer. However, the concealer on both sides is actually really creasy. I don't know if you can see, but right under here, it's doing the tiger stripey thingy. It's not cute at all. It just completely pulled apart. And I actually noticed that within like the first few hours of wearing this. And I don't fucking understand because I moisturize all the way up to my eye. I prime all the way up to my eye and I put concealer all the way up there. And I definitely make sure to bring powder all the way to my lashes. So I don't get what the fuck is happening. Why is everything creasing on me? The creasiness, it's there, but it's not so bad that it's like separating and making me look like a member of Kiss. But when I have other products that aren't really that noticeably creasy, I would probably reach for those over this. However, if you can get it to not crease on you, this is actually beautiful. Like it doesn't really look like there's much on my skin. It just looks concealed on both sides. Like the product itself is actually fucking pretty. It's just that creasiness. What the fuck? So the primer, it really doesn't beat my $10 e.l.f. Poreless Pussy Putty Primer. It was fun to try, but I understand why it was at Marshall's. I don't think it's something that I really recommend. It definitely falls more into like the gimmicky thing. Would I trust it all day, especially out in the sun? Probably not. In the concealer, if you know a magical way to not make things crease, you must fill me in on your secrets because I do not know what the hell I'm doing wrong. If you look past the creasiness, it is really pretty, but I can't. Oh, but damn, it does kind of make me look flawless though. Other than like the caverns that are now underneath my eyes. What do you think? Can you tell a difference between the two sides with the primers? Can you even see the creasiness under my eyes? Maybe the creasing isn't that big of a deal for you. And if it's not, you would probably love this. Anyways, darling, I have to take this off. My eye is fucking twitching. But thank you so much for being here. I love having you. And you know what? If you want just a little bit more me in your life, head over to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplux. There you get videos a day early. You get Patreon only content. You get a Patreon only store. And best part, it's cheap, fun, and fancy, just like me. And don't forget my latest Repop collection is available at repopcosmetics.com. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at official Nady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye!